Guys, Mark Nygaard just bought by this absolutely freaking beautiful Paul Smart Ducati limited edition. Tell us a little bit about this bike, man. This is a super rare bird. Okay, so Paul Smart, back in 72, kind of put Ducati on the map with his 72 750. It was, it was basically like the super sport models. And he came out and pretty much did very well for them. So in 2006, to honor him, they decided to make a limited version of it. Basically, it's a 1000. Has all the original body look, but they, of course, put modern suspension, you know, modern mapping, modern fuel management stuff on it. Uh, it's got a few other goodies, like some carbon fiber stuff. The exhaust is the race exhaust. It was an accessory that you could buy from Ducati. And I also have the lowers with the number 16. They're not on it right now. I kind of prefer the look. I like to see the motor, but I do have the uh, accessory lowers that has his number 16 on it. And uh, I believe Paul Smart did pass a couple of years ago. So they're limited. Not too, not too many out there. Guys, this thing just screams moto porn. Look at this thing, this metallic, looks like an inch thick metallic silver paint with the white Ducati logo. The Olins, this is moto porn. Mo o Olins, Spoked forks, wheels. spoked wheels, massive Brembo floating disc brace, carbon fiber engine components. The swing arm too is like, just like a work, it literally is a work of art. I've never even seen a swing arm like that. Look at that thing. Massive wheels. What's well, they, that? They made a production seven, uh, six, uh, thousand Super Sport in the same years, and it basically housed the two shocks, and it was basically that motor. Only it was more of a production version, you know, not a limited. Um, these are getting pretty rare. They're, they're getting harder and harder to find. And if you haven't seen one, that means they're rare. Oh, it's super, super rare. Carbon fiber fender. Term is Termagnani, is that how they pronounce it? Uh, I'm not a good Italian, but I think it's Termagnani. How do you say that, Johnny? I might have just butchered it, but the seat. Termagnani, that sounds Italian, I like that. It is absolutely beautiful. What a piece. Hey, can you fire it up? Let's hear it run. Oh, wow, well, yeah, this has got some beautiful two valve, old air cooled two valve Panther sound, you know, from the Panther. Dry clutch. Dry, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. This is a modern classic, I've ever seen one. It's, what, 17 years old, 18 years old? Yep. The guy had it out. Hey, you can run antique plates on it in two years. And uh, just sat for a while. Mostly got rid of two years. It's just got under 2,000 miles on it. Machine. It's he just... rode it two years. A buddy of mine that I worked with for, with the studios rode it two years and parked it. Of course, I had to go through the whole fuel system on it and tires. And I, I would never run pump up. gas on a machine like this. No, it's, ever. It's, it's got. I'm from Virginia. And That's like a bodybuilder have... eating pizza every day. Just you don't do it. You give it the best. You know. 94 non-ethanol we've got down in Virginia on the pumps. This sounds wicked. It, is it wicked. literally rang it my ears. Runs. It runs That's that's why you didn't rev it up. You knew it was gonna pop my eardrums, huh? <laughs> that thing's that nasty. What a machine. It. Hey, th thank you for sharing this kick-ass piece of machinery with, with us. I and really again, appreciate like it. I told you the last time. Thank you for this. This is super. You really, really have done an amazing job, and and I'm. I'm really, really tickled to death that somebody did this, and you put a lot in to do it. And people should really appreciate it and take it all in because this is really rare. This place is absolutely amazing. Thank Again, you. Thank good you. job. Thank you. I appreciate that absolutely. very much. So the year is 2006, correct? Correct. Paul Smart 1000. What a machine! Wow. You'll see different Ducatis, but this is about as fine as and rare and exclusive as they come. Do you know what the, the, um, the production stats were on it? Uh, Ducati's funny with that stuff. They Some say it's a 1,000, some say 2,000. I can never get a straight answer on actually production, but I, I believe between 1,000 and 2,000. 
unfortunately not a lot came to the states most of these things get eaten up overseas you know they get over in Europe uh, any, any idea how many made it here and again you get different answers from different people some people say about 650 700 some people say a thousand yeah. That explains. If you, if you talk to Ducati, they'll never give you that information. They may not even know. Who knows? Yeah. That, that that explains why you rarely, if ever, see one of these, even at the big events like Daytona. I, I might have seen one once upon a time, 18 years ago. But even the oil looks like it just came out of the can. Wow! This is yeah, a this is all. Did all the fluids, brake fluids, everything, because it sat for so long. I was worried about that. It's a well loved machine with 2,000, 1,900 miles on it. It's basically brand new. Congratulations, wow. man! This one's a diamond. I can only imagine what this thing's going to be worth 10, 20 years from now. I mean, if well, you look at what the 70s pulling, are going they're for. They're pulling anywhere from right now twenty five to 40000 They the, sold for $14,000 new it's the in 06. It's the Ferrari of motorcycles. It's exclusive. Absolutely. No one else has it's one. Italian fine art. It's not, it's not, yeah, it really, it you put this in your living room, just look at it, and it's worth 20000 That just might be my third pleasure. divorce, <laughs> but I've been, I've been threatening it. <laughs> just, just, just in the sheer pleasure of knowing you have this, looking at the Olins and the birdcage trellis frame and the, the unique greenish paint on the frame and the lustrous silver metallic it's like i said it's it's sex on wheels it's moto porn it's all fashioned after the paul smart 72 version that he won on got rest in peace yes. the brake fluid looks like it just came out of the can this thing's a diamond it, hey if there's one out there that's worth forty thousand, it's this one <laughs> this is i see a lot of bikes i'm kind of jaded this thing's yeah. perfect i'll tell you this much the lowers with the number 16 which in that year they offered that only that year I've seen them on eBay from four to six thousand dollars for the two lowers. Where would you buy them? I mean, they, they don't exist. Oh, they don't exist. That's if you look up unobtainium in Wikipedia. There's a picture of those. <laughs> they don't well, exist. Know. Nobody gonna, has them. Absolutely. You, the guy that bought it originally got every option from Ducati that you could get. All the carbon fiber, all the goodies, the dry clutch cover, the pipe, lower fairings. So it may be one of one in the U.S. equipped like that. Who knows? They uh, knocked it too when they changed the pipe. It sounds freaking the wicked. Pipe it sounds. I've heard a lot of bikes. This thing sounds wicked. It, it, it's very, between the dry clutch and that, that. This thing literally made my ears vibrate. Like like like. Uh, That's what everybody says. Oh my god! Freaking insane! What it, a machine! It, the torque is really the best part about it. It, it just pulls you like it's going to rip your arms out. It's it's almost. Billy, did you see this thing? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it was like the call of the wild. The professor had to come out and see it. Look at this thing. Oh my God, this is beautiful. You, you probably know the history of Paul Smart more than anybody else. Uh, I would know, right? I, I do. Can I you do. tell me a little? Hey, I thought you were Paul Smart here. I saw, <laughs> when you call, I said, he's Paul Smart is back, back from the he's dead. Been resurrected. <laughs> Billy, tell us about the history of this bike and Paul Smart because I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. So. This is a replica that display. I think it's a replica of a 750 or 900 SS. Yes. With a blue frame. Yes. Uh, one of the most valuable bikes on the planet. Planet, as far as a production motorcycle yes. was the 750SS. Paul Smart was a great man who rode the wheels off the Ducati. And did he win the Isle of Man or did he win a 200 mile Imola, Imola. race? Imola. 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 Yeah. He won that one and that put him on the map. That yeah. was 72. Right. 1972. Yeah, so he, he And did. they never looked back since. Right, right. He was on fire after that and everybody wanted him to ride their bikes and he did. And he rode every bike well, but this is representative of his first great success. Fantastic motorcycle! Wow, congratulations! Thank you. Oh, yeah, he, he said he, he, he thought he had passed away, or Paul he, did he pass away. Two years ago, yep, no, just no. a couple years ago. But yeah. he was in the middle of it all. He had a, a great wife. I mean, it, and all the guys loved him. All the racers loved oh, him. Yeah, he was yeah. a top, top man. Hey, if Ducati names legend. a bike after legend. you, legend. If, if they name a bike after you, you're a freaking legend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> wow. Well, this is a wonderful rest in peace. Oh yeah. Yep. I just, just kind of like the way it looks without them. Uh, yeah, me too. It's I, an I engine. I like to it's see the motor. The motorcycle, <laughs> exactly. yeah. That's why I didn't like the But fossil. the lowers make it, they're very valuable. Billy, this thing's, lowers. you know how many beautiful bikes we see here? Yeah. This thing is absolutely freaking perfect. The oil in it looks like it just came out of the kit. Oh, uh, look yeah. through the glass and, uh, and, and the brake fluid, yeah. and there's not a speck of dirt or dust. I don't know how you even ride it. I don't want to, I don't want to under a glass case. I'm very, <laughs> very carefully. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, most of the time, it, I'm going to look at it. Yeah. It's, it's just like my other two, it, you know. I mean, just like that F1. You just, you can't replace anything. What a it. beautiful machine. Yeah. Hey, anytime, you, if you have any other world-class Ducatis you want to share with us, we're always here. So. <laughs> I've got one more you haven't seen yet. It's not too world-class, but 
we were talking about Bill with it. It's a 1991 851 Superbike. Woof, that's a nasty is, machine, yeah. That one was kind of the, the next generation to go from the air cooler to the water cooler with the four valves per cylinder. Rubber band Jackson, drive. Yeah. Rubber band drive, yeah. yeah. yeah what color? It, it's red. red. It's yeah. all red. With a white frame? Yep. I had a red one with a white frame too, bike. but I had a 1990. Same bike. Yeah, it was monster. an amazing motorcycle. It's a monster, huh? It was just too much for me for the street. You know, I love going fast, but it was just too much of everything for the road. It was a tr racetrack motorcycle. It's like know? a CR500 in the woods, sort of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Out of its element that's on the perfect. road, right. CR500 yeah. anywhere. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except for have a big sand hill. They're yeah. awesome. Yes, for sure, for sure. Oh well, God. thank you once again. And uh, guys, yeah, hopefully so you all enjoyed seeing this as much as, as I have and hearing it. Thank you all for watching. God bless the United States of America. It's a beautiful day. Get out and ride.